गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर काइट्स अप टू नाउ वी हैव रेड दैट काइट्स फॉर यूज इन डिफरेंट वेज इन आर लेयर टाइम्स एज वी हैव रेड द फर्स्ट पार्ट नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द सेकेंड पार्ट एज द काइट्स फॉर फ्लाई हाई इन द स्काई समटाइम्स दे डिड नॉट रीच हाई इन द स्काई सो वट वट इज डन आफ्टर दैट when this happened many kites were tied together in trains the first kite was sent as high as it could say the kites they would use like trains one kite after that tied another kite and then after another another like this it was a train was made of kites like this the first kite was sent high as it could go and after that its string was then attached to the second kite which would help the first kite go even higher more higher a third or even fourth kite could be added to the train like this third fourth fifth sixth many kites they are tied together and it was made like a train to made the kites fly high in the sky the american inventor benjamin franklin once conducted a famous experiment using a kite up to now we read that how kites were used and now this famous inventor benjamin franklin once completed a experiment completed a exper- an experiment on it franklin wanted to show that lightning was a form of electricity he wanted to show that whenever there is lightning in the clouds it is the form of a electricity the electricity that is used in houses for fans acs for many things we use so franklin wanted to prove this that when there is rain and the clouds the thunder and at that time the lightning that occur that is the form of the electricity that we are using in houses so he wanted to prove this and to prove this what he did he thought that he could prove it if he sent a kite to catch the current from the lightning flashes and he thought that he could prove it only when he is at the time when there is cloudy and he would send a kite up to the clouds and if the kite catch caught the lightning only that he, then he can prove it so what he did for this Franklin's kite was made of light sticks and silk fabric an iron wire was attached to its frame at the end of the long string of the kite he tied a brass key also the kite was made of sticks and the and a fabric cloth was also tied to it and an iron wire was also attached to its frame okay for making a kite we first we make frame and then we make kite so when the frame was made an iron wire was attached with it and at the end of the long string of the kite he tied a brass key also as you can see in the picture he tied a brass key to the string of the kite at the end that he could touch it very easily then at the end of the string he tied a silk ribbon as you can see in the picture see this this is the ribbon the silk ribbon that he tied and this is the brass key it is very near to its his hand that he can touch very easily so he tied why he tied this ribbon this ribbon was tied because cloth could not allow it electricity to pass through okay so after that after that he knew he knew silk would not conduct electricity well and hoped it would keep him safe why he tied the silk ribbon because he knew that silk would not conduct electricity it would not let the electricity pass through and with this he can save himself from the current of the electricity on a stormy afternoon franklin set out to try his kite a brisk breeze was blowing franklin's kite rose quickly into the dark clouds rain drops were pelting down he needed to keep the silk ribbon dry because once wet it would conduct electricity 
so as it was a stormy afternoon franklin started its experiment he sent the kite high in the sky and the brisk brisk mean very cool and pleasant breeze was blowing and as he started flying the kite there were raindrops also so when there were raindrops what was the main thing the main thing was that he need to keep the silk ribbon dry because we all know that if silk ribbon was will be wet then it would let the electricity pass through it and due to which franklin could get harm so franklin reached out and then tapped the key with its with his finger sparks flew it was electricity and as the rain drops start coming at and it was lightning also in the clouds at that time franklin touched the brass key and as he touched the brass key there was a spark there was a current and it was electricity benjamin franklin was very lucky on that day not because he proved his theory but because he did not killed get killed those who fly kites must remember this no kites on a stormy day metal should never be used to make a kite also kites should never be flown around power lines it is dangerous to fly kites from a roof terrace that does not have a parapet so what the poet the writer wanted to tell us that benjamin was doing experiment and he was lucky that on that day he was not get killed because as he touched the brass key and there was current and due to that current he could get killed also but he was safe so one who fly kite he must remember that kite should not be fla- flown on a stormy day we should not go on roof for flying kites we should keep ourselves safe so in today's class we are going to up to, to do up to here be happy be safe rest we'll do in the next video